Hello everyone. Welcome to One More Thing. I'm Matt. Today we will explore a huge and controversial industry, the Japanese AV, adult video, industry. Japanese AV enjoys wide popularity around the world, but it has also caused many controversies and questions. In this video we take a closer look at the industry and explore its cultural, acting and social impacts. First, let's clarify the purpose and theme of this video. We do not intend to sensationalize or advertise this industry, but to provide objective information and in-depth analysis about Japanese AV from the perspective of an observer and researcher. We hope that through this film, we can inspire audiences to think about sexual culture, the sex industry and social concepts. In this video, we will trace the origins of the Japanese AV industry and understand its development history as well as its legality and regulatory restrictions in Japan. We will also explore Japanese society's attitudes and concepts about sex, as well as common themes and plots in Japanese AV works. In addition, we will also delve into the training and working environment of Japanese AV actors, and reveal the shooting process and behind-the-scenes production of Japanese AV films. Most importantly, we will discuss the impact of Japanese AV on society. How does this industry affect sex education and sexual attitudes? How does it shape and influence gender roles and relationships? These are all topics we will explore in depth in the film. Please note that this video will approach this topic from a respectful and educational perspective and does not encourage or support any illegal or ethically questionable behavior. We hope our audience will keep an open mind and understand the complexity and diversity of this industry. Now, let us embark on this journey of exploring the Japanese AV industry. 1. The Origins of Japanese AV Industry To understand the Japanese AV industry, we need to review its development history. The origins of Japanese AV can be traced back to the late 1960s and early 1970s, when Japanese society was experiencing a wave of rapid modernization and sexual liberation. During this period, the film industry began to explore the market potential of adult films and launched a series of adult films. However, it was not until the early 1980s, with the popularization of VCRs, videotapes, that the Japanese AV industry really flourished. The emergence of videotapes has made adult videos easier to disseminate and watch, bringing huge opportunities to the Japanese AV market. Many companies have entered this field, launched a large number of works, and established their own brands and film series. However, while the Japanese AV industry has been commercially successful, it also faces challenges with legality and regulatory restrictions. According to Japanese law, it is legal to produce and sell adult videos, but there are also some restrictions and regulations. For example, according to the law on the penalties for purchasing prostitution and the protection of children, etc. commonly known as the law, Japan strictly prohibits the production and production of sexual acts involving minors or child pornography spread. In addition, the Japanese AV industry has also been under pressure from some moral and social concepts. Some believe that adult films have a negative impact on social climate and family values, and question the gender roles and depictions in them. These questions have sparked ethical debate and social discussion about the sex industry. In order to cope with these challenges, the Japanese AV industry has spontaneously established some self-regulatory institutions, such as the Japanese AVTA Association AVTA, and the Japanese AV Association JAVM. These agencies establish a number of industry standards and norms to ensure that the production and distribution of adult films comply with legal regulations and prioritize the welfare and legality of actors. Two. The Cultural Characteristics of Japanese AV As a unique adult film industry, Japanese AV has many unique cultural characteristics. These characteristics are closely related to Japanese society's attitudes and concepts about sex, cultural traditions, and market demand. Let's explore some of these common cultural traits. Fictional Plots and Role-Playing Japanese AV works are often characterized by fictional plots and role-playing. These plots may involve various characters such as students, nurses, housewives, etc., and are often accompanied by plot and dialogue to provide a more episodic viewing experience. Surreal Aesthetic Style Japanese AV works often focus on visual effects and pursue a surreal aesthetic style. This includes careful arrangements of set design, costume styling, makeup and photography techniques to create an eye-catching visual effect. Emphasis on physical performance and sexual skills, Japanese AV works usually emphasize the actor's physical performance and sexual skills. Actors demonstrate various postures, expressions and sexual behavior techniques in the film to satisfy the audience's visual and emotional stimulation. Competition in production price and quality, competition in the Japanese AV industry is fierce. 
In order to attract audiences, production companies continue to improve the quality and innovation of their works. This includes using high-quality photography equipment, hiring professional actors and directors, and providing a diverse range of content and styles. Imitation and pursuit of fantasies. Japanese AV works often imitate and pursue the sexual fantasies of the audience. These fantasies may be related to gender roles, specific physical characteristics, emotional expressions, etc. and are designed to satisfy the specific preferences and fantasies of the audience. When discussing the cultural characteristics of Japanese AV, we also need to realize that these characteristics do not represent the sexual concepts and values of the entire Japanese society. Japanese society has complex ideas and values about sex, which is seen as a private realm and is often not openly discussed in public. Therefore, Japanese AV, as a medium for expression and exploration, makes up for the repression and neglect in this social culture to a certain extent. 3. The Japanese AV Acting and Production The Japanese AV industry has unique characteristics for the training and working environment of actors. At the same time, there are also a series of processes and technologies in the filming process and behind-the-scenes production. The Japanese AV industry has a relatively strict training and selection process for actors. Some production companies will set up their own training centers or academies to provide skills and knowledge training for new actors. Training may include how to perform sexual behaviors, emotional expressions, body language, etc. In addition, some companies will also conduct sexual health examinations and physical condition assessments on actors to ensure their health and safety. In terms of the working environment, actors usually sign a contract with a production company to become its exclusive or co-star, and participate in filming on set as agreed in the contract. Actors need to abide by the rules and instructions of the production company while on set, while also respecting the collaborative relationship between actors. Japanese AV shooting is usually carried out in special studios or set scenes. Before filming, the director and actors will discuss the plot, plot and character settings to ensure that the filming conforms to the script and expected effects. During the filming process, the production team will be responsible for technical aspects such as photography, lighting, and sound effects to create the best visual and auditory effects. The director will guide the actors' performance methods and movements to present emotions and sexual behaviors that fit the plot and character settings. During filming, there are usually photographers, directors, lighting engineers and other staff present, and there will also be interaction and cooperation between actors. In order to ensure the comfort and safety of actors, some companies will take additional measures, such as setting security passwords and providing communication and consent between actors. The behind-the-scenes production of Japanese AV includes post-editing, audio processing, adding special effects, etc. to improve the quality and enjoyment of the film. The production team will select, edit and assemble the film footage, as well as add subtitles, background music and special effects. In addition, the packaging and promotion of AV works are also part of the behind the scenes production. Production companies design covers, posters and promotional materials to capture the audience's attention and purchase intent. In summary, Japanese AV acting and production involves actor training, contracts and working environment, as well as director guidance, technical creation and interaction between actors during the filming process. Behind the scenes production includes post editing, audio processing and publicity to improve the quality and viewing pleasure of the work. These efforts and technologies enable the Japanese AV industry to provide diverse and professional works that meet the needs and expectations of audiences. 4. The impact of Japanese AV on society. The Japanese AV industry has had a certain impact on sex education and sexual concepts, as well as gender roles and relationships. Let's explore the impact of these aspects. As a form of adult entertainment, Japanese AV has had a certain impact on sex education and sexual concepts. On the one hand, due to the low level of openness about sex in Japanese society, sex education is often ignored in schools and families, resulting in many people having insufficient understanding of sexual knowledge and sexual behavior. In this case, some people may obtain sexual information and concepts by watching AV works. On the other hand, Japanese AV works have certain innovation and diversity in the presentation of sexual behaviors and sexual fantasies. This may have an impact on viewers' sexual attitudes, including perceptions of sexual behavior, gender roles and body image. However, it should be noted that the plots and behaviors presented in AV works are often fictional and do not represent real sexual relationships and experiences. The Japanese AV industry has also had an impact on gender roles and relationships. 
Some AV works may emphasize traditional gender roles and stereotypes, such as male protagonists being authoritative and dominant, while female protagonists are portrayed as passive and submissive. This presentation may influence viewers' perceptions and expectations of gender roles and relationships. However, over time, some Japanese AV productions have also begun to explore and present more diverse gender roles and relationships. Some works may break through traditional gender role stereotypes and present images of women taking initiative and enjoying sex. This change reflects society's concern and pursuit of gender equality and diversity. It should be noted that Japanese AV, as a form of entertainment, does not represent the sexual concepts and behaviors of the entire society. It is just one of many influencing factors in society, and personal values, educational background and cultural background will also have an impact on individual sexual concepts. Most importantly, rational and critical thinking are necessary for people who watch AV works. Viewers should clearly distinguish between fictional entertainment content and real-life sexual relationships and sex education to ensure that they have correct sexual knowledge and healthy sexual concepts. At the same time, society also needs to strengthen sex education and provide comprehensive and true sexual knowledge to help people form positive and healthy sexual concepts and behaviors. Looking back at the main content and topics discussed in this video, we discuss the acting and production of Japanese AV, its impact on society, as well as the impact on sex education and sexual concepts, gender roles and relationships. These issues are complex and sensitive and require thinking and discussion from multiple perspectives. As viewers, we should view and evaluate the impact of AV works on us with rational and critical thinking. AV works are a form of entertainment, and the plots and behaviors presented in them are often fictitious and should not be our only reference for sex education, sexual concepts, and sexual behavior. In terms of sex education, society should provide comprehensive and true sexual knowledge to help people form healthy and positive sexual concepts. Schools and families should pay more attention to sex education and provide young people with correct sexual knowledge and guidance on sexual behavior to help them grow up healthily. Regarding gender roles and relationships, we should promote recognition and respect for gender equality and diversity. The AV industry should actively explore and present more diverse gender roles and relationships and avoid emphasizing stereotypes of gender roles. At the same time, we as consumers should also have the power and awareness to choose. When choosing to watch AV works, we should pay attention to the content and presentation of the work, and avoid supporting any form of abuse, coercion or illegal behavior. We can choose to support work that is grounded in respect and consent and promotes healthy sexual and emotional relationships. Finally, this discussion is just the beginning, and we should continue to pay attention to and participate in discussions about sex education, sexual concepts, and sexual relationships. Through open dialogue and sustained efforts, we can gradually build a more inclusive and equal sexual culture. Thank you all for watching this video. We hope that through this discussion we can enhance our understanding of the Japanese AV industry and trigger more thinking about sex education, sexual concepts and sexual relationships. Everyone should face sex in a positive and healthy way, respect the wishes and boundaries of others, and create a more inclusive and equal society. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. You are also welcome to share your views and experiences about these artifacts in the comment area. See you next time.